We're gonna explore some of Royal Oak's amazing neighborhoods. We're gonna explore what to do as a family, nightlife, restaurants, all of it. Royal Oak, Michigan, one of my favorite towns in Southeast Michigan. Guys, I am super excited to bring you your Not Your Average Guide to Royal Oak, Michigan. Let's do this. And we're gonna start right here outside my own office, located right at the corner of 5th and Washington. I know that's a shameless plug, but first, let's go grab a cup of coffee. One of my favorite coffee spots here in Royal Oak is the Proving Grounds. It's a long walk to get there from my office. Right there, right next door. All right, now this is actually the second location for the Brewing Grounds Coffee and Ice Cream. The first location is located in Milford, Michigan, and they opened up near the GM Proving Grounds, hence Proving Grounds. Not only do they have amazing coffee, my favorite being the cold brew, but they also feature awesome sandwiches and of course the brown dog ice cream. All right, now that I've got my coffee and I could not resist getting ice cream because it's so good, let's go explore the rest of Royal Oak. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what this one's gonna include. So as always, we're gonna talk about the coffee shops of Royal Oak. Oh dear. We're gonna explore some of Royal Oak's amazing neighborhoods. We're gonna explore what to do as a family, nightlife, restaurants, all of it. All right, so let's head up to Vincetta. Now, while we're on our way up there, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing around so we could take a look at, at the uh, the lofts on Washington. That's one of the cool things about living in Royal Oak is you've got a couple of different, um, uh, definitely a couple of different options, and you've got different housing for you know new families, medium-sized families, uh, mature families, and all over the map. Royal Oak's extremely unique when it comes to its housing. We've got right here on our left the lofts on uh, Washington. These were constructed back in 2007. They, they went on sale and then most of them with the down market, the developer builder ended up leasing them out for several years and then ended up reselling them later on. Um, and this is not the only one. We've got lofts over on Troy, we've got the lofts on Fifth, we've got a couple of projects that have been completed that are great ways to be right in that downtown area, which is super cool. So this is the Vincetta neighborhood in Royal Oak, Michigan. We're in the northwest part of Royal Oak. One of the reasons why I wanted to come here specifically is because when a lot of people think of Royal Oak, they think of small yards, track houses, ranches, which is very true. But then you've got neighborhoods like this, Aqua Sub, the Woodward Side Sub, like in this neighborhood especially, we've got the Broad Boulevards, which is amazing. And then we've got homes like this on both wide and deep lots. This is a mixed neighborhood of new construction, um, as well as homes that have been here since the late 30s and early 40s. Today for breakfast, I mean, there are a ton of different places that we can pick from, but today we're gonna go to Owl, which is kind of a Royal Oak favorite, located right here on Woodward. All right, now while we're waiting for our food to come, which is gonna be amazing from Owl, let me tell you about another couple of spots here in Royal Oak that I would definitely jump out to for breakfast. Number one is Cafe Muse, um, which is located right there in Washington, directly across from my real estate office. The greatest thing about it is their grilled cheese sandwich, which I know is not a breakfast item, but it was actually featured on Oprah. If you're going for breakfast, Definitely get the French toast, highly recommend it. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Avocado toast and a side of our cilantro potatoes. Thank you so much. Mm. And so we, so far we had coffee, we've had breakfast, we checked out some of the houses downtown, and now on the way to the zoo is a Perna family tradition. So on the way to the zoo, whenever we would go as kids, we'd always stop here at the Donut Cutter, which actually was voted the best donuts in Metro Detroit by our In Our Magazine, WDIV Channel 4, Fox News, all of them. Like this is the go-to donut place. Now bear in mind, when you go here guys, and you should go here, make sure to bring cash because they don't have a credit card machine. It's that old school, it's that delightful. See you inside. Uh, may, I, may I do two, two glazed cakes? Two glazed cakes. So good. Yeah. All right guys, now that I've got my donuts from the donut cutter, we're gonna head over to the Trite Zoo. And one small thing, I understand this is a this is about Royal Oak. Donut cutter's technically located in Berkeley, but it is definitely a Royal Oak favorite as well. All right, we've got our coffee, we toured Vincetta Sub, we had our breakfast, we've had our donuts from the donut cutter, now on to the zoo. Today we're gonna to be taking a tour through the Detroit Zoo and then we're gonna have lunch afterwards. And guys, this is gonna be the best 20 bucks you can spend in Metro Detroit. It's 15 for kids, 19 for adults. Let's get going.
And guys, we've got a special for you today. We've got a sneak peek at Table 28. It actually opens tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, it will be open. It used to be the Arctic Cafe. And what they did was they redid the whole thing. They're calling it Table 28 because the zoo was opened in 1928. And if you can check it out, it's got the Jurassic Park lettering. It reminds me of walking of the, of the, of the older gentleman who created the dinosaurs. And he's got his cane with the amber and the, and the bug and the mosquito in it and all of the things. Also, they did source local for almost everything in here, which is awesome. Uh, one thing we've got is Motown is a Detroit mac and cheese, which includes a barbecue on it, a barbecue sauce, which I love. We've got the Great Lakes Brewing Company coffee, again, local. And I'm drinking my classic nitro brew. Of course, this is like my eighth cup of coffee today, right? Um, we've got local honey. We've got a half of bison uh, that cut that's made and shipped in from Frankenmuth, Michigan, which is awesome. We'll get a video on Frankenmuth and all the Christmas fun at some point in time. And they actually sell a Great Lakes specific zoo brew so you can brew the same coffee at home. This is fantastic, guys. It's a great, great redo on the Arctic Cafe, which was already good. You're gonna love it. Make it down to the zoo. Check this place out. We made it, Lily's Seafood. All right guys, after a long day at the zoo, I've got 20,000 steps in and I'm famished. This is one of my go-to places in Royal Oak, Lily's, it's been here since 99. I've been coming since about 99. Uh, not only do they have amazing food, um, they also have, they also hand cut their own sweet potato fries. I would not miss those for the world. Um, if you can, check out the crab cakes. Um, the fish and chips are amazing, the salmon's amazing. Uh, pretty much everything here is off the charts awesome. My other go-to is they have an amazing grilled cheese and they also have uh, fish tacos, which I just heard from one of the bartenders. A great idea there is switch out the, uh, the salmon that's on the taco for shrimp. I'm definitely gonna be trying that today. Oh, wonderful lunch. I am stuffed and, see, doggy bag. We've actually got a little bit of time on our hands before our show over at Mark Ridley's. I might have just spoiled that surprise. So we're gonna head over here to Paper Trail Books, which is an amazing used bookstore. Let's head in. So here we are inside Paper Trail Books. I feel like I'm talking soft, like I'm in a library. I know it's not a library, but this is a super cool little bookstore. You wouldn't even know it's here unless you know it's here kind of a thing. It's got hundreds of used books and all sectioned out and a great place to sit and read, a great place to sit and play chess for a little bit. And frankly, they stay open kind of late, so it's super fun to have dinner, come over here, peruse, and I know I've been totally guilty of just walking in after dinner, seven, eight o'clock at night, and walking out with a with an armful of books. Totally happened. Let's take a quick walk around. And as we're walking around, there are some first editions, some rares, some collectibles, some, some uh, autographed right over here. I'm gonna go straight to my favorite section, which happens to be sci-fi, because there is an actual George R.R. R. Martin book I'm missing. They might just have it. Okay. All right, here we are guys. We made it, we're on the east side of Royal Oak, right in front of Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, which is iconic Royal Oak, okay? Let me tell you a little bit about this. So Mark Ridley opened the Comedy Castle on January 4th, 1979, right? We've got some extremely awesome famous comedians that got their start here, including Tim Allen, Dave Coulier, which you may or not may not remember from Full House. He's actually from here, from St. Clair Shores, Michigan. I love to cover family-friendly events. Everybody knows that. This is definitely not one of them. The comedy can get a little close to or over the line of R-rated. I will say this, it's an, it's an amazing date night. It, it's one of those things where, you know, you wanna grab a babysitter, come on out, have dinner downtown at, at one of our amazing restaurants and grab at a comedy show. All right, guys, I was really hoping to only get, you know, just, just, a, just a snippet of the stage because, again, this is one of my favorite places, and Mark Ridley himself is here. One thing that Mark did, which I thought was awesome, was he introduced the three comedian rollout. Now, what that looks like is you've got a budding comedian. Actually, you should probably describe it. I Well, it was out of necessity because I was the MC at the time. And Excellent. there were only nine local acts that, when I first started. So 
In order to make the show an hour and a half show, I decided to go with me as the MC, and then a, another a middle act, and then the headliner. That's and excellent. When I first introduced the first major headliner, that was Mike Binder. That was in February of '79. Wow! And we've been doing it since that, that way since then. That's pretty amazing. And that three act series has been something that's taken off across the nation. Comedy clubs all over the place use it, and. You know, I would love to just thank you again for being such a wonderful part of this community. Oh, thank you. I remember, if I remember right, back in 1990, you had moved the, the Comedy Castle six times at that I, point. This is actually our seventh and final location. And done. Right? And this is done. it. And this yeah. is it. Yeah. 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 So this is, a, this is a rarity to see Mark here. This has been amazing. If you can, you're probably catching the energy. Thank you again so much. My pleasure. I, I can't even tell you how many times over the last 20 years I've come here. Oh, since, good. You know, I've good. kind of you know come of age. Before that, I couldn't yeah. you know, get yeah. in the door. Um, but thank you again for taking the my time. My pleasure. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you being such a member of the Royal Oak community as thank well. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. I cannot believe I'm hungry again. After laughing just, just a ridiculous amount of great humor over at Mark Ridley's, I find myself wanting to chow down on some good comfort food. So here we are at the Mori. Today, my three choices were the Kung Pao cauliflower, the Mori burger, uh, and the prosciutto pizza. Three of my favorites, and I gotta admit, I'm not sure what isn't my favorite here. I kinda order just about everything anytime I come. But when the band starts, I definitely want pizza, I definitely want my Diet Coke, and I definitely want a burger. Um, couple cool things about this place. First, it was started in 2016. The owner, who was the owner of Bistro 82, just a few streets over um, at Lafayette and Fourth, created this place and named it after his father, who looked what looks like a rolling, laughing man. This place features live music every day of the week, including brunch. I would definitely, definitely scope out their Nashville hot chicken, uh, chicken and waffles if you're here for brunch. And these guys have featured such acts as the Killer Flamingos, the Class of 98, and many more local bands that have started here and taken off to even bigger stages, which is awesome. Um, in addition to that, they serve some great cocktails. And one thing I would definitely try if you're a bourbon drinker, try the Maury's, what do they call it? The Maury's Maker Mark or the Maker Mark Maury. I kind of confused the name of it. But if you're a bourbon person, Gotta try it, it's a small batch where a couple of bartenders had gone down during COVID just to make it for this restaurant. All right, the music's gonna be starting up here in a little bit. The band just started uh, getting here. You can't see them behind me yet. They're kind of waiting to set up. Um, and it's a great end to the night. Thank you so much for spending a day with me, bouncing around Royal Oak. We got so much in, we got to see the zoo. We got a great coffee, we got donuts, we got lunch, we got breakfast, we've got um, dinner at the end and more to come. We'll be shooting many, many more videos, more cities that we'll be exploring and deep diving into. Don't forget to subscribe and please give us a like if you like the content that we're putting out. Thank you guys, enjoy.